Yeah, it definitely comes across the grass pretty decently. I like to just hook up on one fish to start the day. And then I'll switch over to the, uh, the Teckle Sprinker Frog, which is more of a swimmer. Fish. He hit it right when it landed. Oh, I had him too. I had him. Let's see if I can get this thing reset. Yeah, that was a shame. But. It's so hot. Finally, got one, and it's a dink, but it is regular frog hook. The trailer hook was there, but I think I got him on the frog hook of all things. Yeah. All right. a good fish. So I think that was the second time. The same one. What the? <laughs> I just had a huge bass on my line. Kind of huge. He just swam up out of nowhere. It's not full. Fish, and it's not a bad one either. And I got him with a legit frog hook. Look at that, guys, right through the old mouth. All right, a frog fish. All right, so that's probably my 20th, 20th blow up in my second fish, but we'll take it. All right, that was good. Trailer hook looks good. Trailer hook, I didn't even need it. Um, one thing's for sure, I think the smaller frog helps me. Man, they just come out of nowhere. So it could have been way worse. I went over this morning to another pond and I didn't do so hot. I got a couple blow ups. I landed one fish. Did I land a fish? I think I landed one fish. So I've been trying two different baits today and uh, the one that I caught both fish on today 
was this little Booyah frog. A little smaller than my average frog, but I'm using a uh, trailer hook so that hook sticks out the back. Now I've noticed that like when you have just kind of matted mossy top uh, vegetation with grass underneath, that trailer hook works pretty good. Um, it doesn't get in the way, doesn't hook on anything, doesn't cause any problems, doesn't make it sink, it swims just fine. You know, believe it or not, the fish that I just caught, I didn't even catch on the trailer hook, which isn't so much of a surprise, but it's, I guess, a security factor. It made me feel a little bit better about setting the hook. Um, I caught two fish today on a frog, and I've had like four or five blow ups, so I'm getting closer to the 50 50 everybody talks about. Another frog that I've been using, man, I cannot remember the name. Just bear with me. Okay, okay. All right, the frog that I used today is by Doomsday Tackle Company, um, and it's called the, the D-Hop 75. It's right here on my rod. Um, it's just a spongy frog that floats, so it doesn't collapse, it doesn't have a hollow body. And it has a six aught like worm or swim bait hook on it and it's able to um, swim weedless and it just has one big strong hook so i have yet to set one up on it um, and hook a fish but i think i will i'm using a bright white with uh, lime and then i have a black one with yellow and then i have a yellow one with brown so i'm going to try different colors to see what i can get to happen um, but today was not a total bust i went to two ponds i caught a fish each Normally, I think I would catch more. I see these fish kind of going in and out of this grass. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna start punching the grass a little bit with some baits. And then at the evenings and mornings, use the frogs, kind of an occasional thing, more of a fun thing, because I just can't depend on it to give me fish hookups consistently, at least not to my level of expertise, which is not very good so far. So I'm gonna work on it. I'll get better. Uh, I'll keep trying the frogs. Today I had better success than in the past, but um, I'm still not totally loving it. But hey, let's let's give it a whack. All right, man. Hey.